Let us understand how do we write equation of the graph of parabola in standard form. A very simple strategy is adopted for writing different kinds of equations and then converting them into the standard form. Enjoy the journey of learning. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we are addressing a very common question which has been asked by our subscriber. We need to write the equation from the graph of a parabola. Normally, this equation is given in vertex form or in factored form. In this particular video, see how to write the equation of parabola in standard form. That is y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. I have taken four different examples to cover the complete lesson on this particular topic. I hope you will understand and appreciate. Few things to remember are that when you write an equation of a parabola, you have to first identify the critical points. Most critical point is the vertex itself. If you can read it clearly, that is the best point to begin with. And you can start with the vertex form, which will be y equals to a x minus p whole square plus q. Now, if you can identify the x intercepts, like in the third graph, the best equation to begin with will be a times x minus x1 first x intercept times x minus x2 the second intercept. Now there could be situations where the vertex is right there on the axis itself. Now in this particular case both the roots are at one point and therefore the forms which is a x minus p whole square works very beautifully. In some situations, you may identify three different points, right, as being shown here. So, depending on the situation, you have to choose the starting point. Perfect. So, we learn all this in this particular video. Let's begin with the question number one itself. So here we have a parabola which opens up. It does not have any x-intercept. So we have only one option and that is to look into the vertex and a beautiful point which can help us to find the value of a. In this case, we can read the y-intercept, right? So if we can read the y-intercept, which here is 5 for us, right? So 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we can read the y-intercept as 5. Once we have identified the points, it is a good time to begin with the right equation. Since we know the vertex, we'll start with y equals to a times x minus p whole square plus q, where p, q is the vertex. In, in our case, the vertex is at x value of 2 and the y value of 1. So we know both p and q. So I can write down this equation as y equals to a x minus 2 whole square plus 1. Now to find the value of a, we will utilize the known point, which in this case is 0, 5, the y-intercept. So, I'll plug in 0 for x and 5 for y, correct? So, we'll write 5 for y and 0 for x to find the value of a. So, we get 5 equals to 2 square is 4, 4a plus 1. So, 5 minus 1 is 4a, which is 4 equals to 4a. And that gives you the value of a, correct? 
So from here, you can write a is 4 divided by 4. That gives you the value of a as 1. Once you find the value of a, you actually know the quadratic equation, which is y equals to a is 1. So we have x minus 2 whole square plus 1. Now, to write it in the standard form, we need to expand and simplify, right? So, that's the next step. So, expand x minus 2 whole square using the quadratic formula. So, that is, you know, x minus 2 whole square will be x square minus 2ab minus 2 times 2x plus 2 square which is plus 2 squares 4, and then we are going to add 1 to it, right? So, we will combine the like terms. We get x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus 1, which is 5. Is that clear to you? So, we get our equation in the standard form. Makes sense. x squared minus 4x plus 5. You see from this equation as a check, 5 is your y-intercept. You get the idea? The value of a, as we found as 1, is the leading coefficient. So, that is how we should find the equation in standard form. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Perfect. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Also, if you want to learn directly from me, you can send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Now, let's look into the solution of the next question. So, I hope you understand all the steps. Now, here again, we have a parabola which is opening down. A very good point given to us is the turning point at the x-intercept itself. So, let's identify this point, mark it. And what is the value here? Well, x value is minus 1 and the y value is 0. We need to identify another point which is minus 2, 0. So, since we know this vertex point, so let's write down vertex first. So, vertex is given to us as minus 1 and 0. And we have another point P. Let's call this P which is 0 minus 2. Knowing these points, the best equation to begin again is the vertex form. So, we are going to write this as y equals to a times x minus p. Let me write the general equation plus q. So, we know a times since q is 0, right? So, we are only left with x minus and minus 1 makes it plus 1, correct? Now, we can use 0 minus 2 to find the value of a. y being minus 2, x being 0, right? So, minus 2 equals to a times, this is just 1. So, we get the value of a as minus 2. Since we know that a is minus 2, I can now write down the equation as y equals to minus 2 times x plus 1 whole square. Now, we can expand. x plus 1 whole square is x square plus 2x plus 1. Open the brackets. Minus 2x square minus 4x minus 2. So, y equals to minus 2x square minus 4x minus 2 becomes the equation in standard form for this particular graph. So, I hope it is absolutely clear. Perfect. So, now you can actually pause the video and write down equations for the other graphs also. But in this case now, we are going to understand a new strategy. That is, how do we identify the x-intercepts and then write down the equation? So, here the green graph which is moving up, clearly I can read the x-intercepts. So, those are beautiful points to begin with. Even the y-intercept is clear to me. So, let's write down what is known to us. So, we have x-intercepts. 
and the values are x equals to so this one is minus 2 and the other one is 4 and then we have a y intercept let's call this a point a okay now let's find out the value of a the y intercept so, x value is 0 and the y is minus 8. Correct. So, we can now write down the equation in factored form, which is y equals to x minus x1 a times, of course, x minus x2. So, substituting the values, we get y equals to a times x minus of minus 2 is plus 2. And then with 4, we have x minus 4. Clear? We know the point y intercept, which is 0 minus 8. So minus 8 equals to a times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 4. Or minus 8 is a times 2 times minus 4. This is 0. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8. So we get the value of a as 1, right? So that means minus 8 over minus 8 is 1 for a. Since we know that a is 1, we are going to substitute this value. So we have y equals 2. a is 1. So we have x plus 2 times x minus 4. To write the equation in the standard form, we need to expand it. So let's try to expand it y equals to x times x which is x squared x times minus 4 minus 4x then multiply both with 2 we get plus 2x and minus 8 combine the like terms to get x squared minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x minus 8 so that becomes our equation in the standard form so i hope that is absolutely clear perfect now, here is the last question for you. I would like you to apply the strategies learned to get the equation of this particular parabola. Perfect? Okay, just a reminder. In case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. So, let's identify the points. That is our first step. So, we have a vertex and a y-intercept, we are going to use these points. So, vertex in this case is what? So, vertex is at 1, the x value, and the y value seems to be minus 3. So, we have a vertex, right, which is 1, minus 3. And we have a point P, which is given to us as minus 5. So, 0, minus 5. So, we can now write down this equation in the standard form, which is y equals to x a times, right? So, don't forget that. We have to find the value of a, right? x minus 1 since the vertex is at 1 minus p. So, I am writing directly, okay? And then minus 3. Makes sense? Simple as that. Substitute the point 0 minus 5. Means minus 5 is the y value. 0 minus 1 whole square minus 3. Minus 5 equals to a minus 3. So, minus 5 plus 3 equals to a. So, minus 2 is the value of a. Correct. So, now we know the value of a. We are going to substitute this. So, we get a as minus 2. And we have x minus 1 whole square minus 3. Expand and simplify. So, minus 2 times x minus 1 whole square is x square minus 2x plus 1. And then we have minus 3 outside the bracket. Open the bracket. Minus 2x square plus 4x minus 2 minus 3. And that gives you minus 2x square plus 4x minus 5. So, minus 5 is your y-intercept as expected. So, we get our equation in the standard form. So, I hope all these steps are absolutely clear. Perfect. So, once again, reminder, whenever you, you want to find the equation of a parabola, what you need to do is 
identify three points. So that is your first step. And the second step is you need to understand which form, right? So whether you should write a times x minus p whole square plus q or you're going to use a times x minus x1 times x minus x2, right? So, well, if you're lucky, you will get one of these forms straight away from the graph. You get the idea. Identify this. If not, in that case, you could start directly from y equals to ax squared plus bx plus c using three points. You can eliminate and get the answer. So I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.